Everybody's on steroids. What a great quote from Nate Diaz. I made a video last week myself critiquing Ryan Garcia's diet, professional boxer, subtly pointing out that, yeah, he obviously uses steroids. He's at the top level in sports. PEDs, performance enhancing drugs, whatever you call them. And I was bombarded with comments, gaslighting, lying, attempted to defend Ryan Garcia saying, he doesn't use steroids because he's not a tooth head monkey. Oh, oh. There is a lot of deception in this world. Drug usage in sports is just the tip of the iceberg. Good luck convincing people of anything beyond that. <laughs> the Joe Rogan experience. But there's some sports, like, let's look at uh, powerlifting. Yes. Or let's look at bodybuilding. Or Bodybuilding's bodybuilding. the best one. Yeah, that's... It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. What do you mean? Testing bodybuilding doesn't exist. doesn't exist. Oh, right. It doesn't exist if it Bodybuilding with steroids, steroids exactly. exists. exists. Yeah. Joey Boyo, there is no such thing as any sport without steroids. Every single sport, doesn't matter if it's baseball, football, tennis, swimming, hockey, cycling, doesn't matter if the person's skinny triathlete or a hulked out bodybuilder. At the highest level, every single professional, it is required that you use steroids to compete with everyone else. You don't have to look like that goose head monkey ooh, ooh, bodybuilder to be using steroids. The idea that people look muscular when using steroids is preposterous. You don't just get jacked out of your mind. And I think a big part of this is that they're actually illegal in the United States and you can't really openly admit that you're using them despite how obvious it may be. I had a friend, uh, my friend Brian, uh, who lived in Boston, was a natural bodybuilder. He is nothing like those giants that you see at the gym that are on steroids. Yeah, because only bodybuilders use steroids. The same thing could be said when comparing a high school baseball team to a major league baseball team. Chances are, most of those kids aren't already using steroids, although some of them certainly are. Yeah, no shit those kids aren't throwing 95 mile per hour fastballs, hitting the ball 500 feet, just like the average gym goer doesn't look like an IFBB pro. They haven't been using large amounts of drugs in the proper amounts and training consistently, professionally, for many, many years. We can, however, use those bodybuilders, powerlifters, strongmen as a relative strength comparison that gives us a great idea of how much performance using steroids actually adds. As a dedicated natural weightlifter in the gym, an hour or two per day for you know two, three years, you can achieve a 300 pound bench press. It's gonna be difficult, you're gonna to have to train consistently, you're gonna to have to get your eating right, but some punk teenage kid that injects testosterone for a year and does the same thing if he has decent genetics can easily be benching four or five for plates. You easily see a 30, 40, 50% increase in strength, speed, endurance, performance across any sport, not just bodybuilding, not just powerlifting, not just strongmen, although it's certainly easier to gauge those events as opposed to sports. You know, people don't go around bragging, oh, what's your home run record? How, how fast can you throw a baseball? They go around bragging about how much they bench press. We were with this guy called Tony Huge, who calls himself Tony Huge. Tony Huge. Huge. <laughs> Have you heard of this guy? <laughs> no. He's pretty incredible. A great he, has a, name. he has a huge following. A huge following. I wonder what Dr. Tony paid Mr. Rogan to have his name mentioned on the show. You boys think I could afford a sponsorship like that? I mean, they went on and on about him for a few minutes. The kids adore him. I mean, we spoke to teenagers who look up to Tony Huge and want to do everything he does, uh, which is mostly PDs. Yeah, all I need is a subtle name drop with a nice compliment. Oh, yeah, we were with this guy, Frank Tefano, and his was huge. Well, there's a guy who's, uh, who died recently who was famous for looking ridiculous. His name is Rich Piana. Do you know who that is? Four scoops? Oh yeah. They don't exactly know if steroids killed them, but it's like, you know, if you see a body and then there's a gun right next to the body, like, and the gun, the body has a bullet hole. There's way too much background that needs to be understood here. They're intentionally fear-mongering steroids, testosterone, employing their dangerous, you're gonna have a heart attack like Rich Piana. When both of these jokers hosting this podcast are probably on boatloads of hormones themselves. Yeah, why don't you guys disclose what you're taking every morning? 
I would bet just about every elite male, high level intellect person is using some sort of testosterone or hormone replacement. They give it to our military, basically anyone that is on the side of the government. For the masses, the sheeple, they scared them away from steroids and fill them with estrogen through the water supply, vegan diets, various endocrine disruptors that I've talked about previously. So that is- Basically, uh, he decided to start taking steroids. That's when he decided? Is that what it yeah. says? Okay, so that, that can be achieved naturally. That absolutely can be achieved naturally, especially with good genetics. I got a question. How come these super impressive naturals never stay natural? Like all of these juice head monkeys, ooh, ooh, happen to have one in a million natural genetics, super jacked and shredded as a natural, but no, now I use steroids. <laughs> who believes them? And that's uh, one of the things that uh, I had. Do you know who Ronnie Coleman is? No. How does she know who Tony Huge is, but not Ronnie Coleman? She said she went to bodybuilding shows earlier on this podcast. Who wrote the script for this? Can they make it somewhat believable? Maybe you clowns should hire me so I can afford to upgrade this 2001 Ford Taurus, which is actually at the mechanic right now. Yeah. So in the USC, it's not allowed now? No, or? no, 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 no. A lot of people get busted. Hmm. Uh, they get busted for trace amounts that are um, in um, supplements. Now, were you surprised that John Jones tested positive? Everybody's on steroids. Everyone else seems to be focused on Adesanya's tit. And I think it's, I think it's much funnier that it's one tit as opposed to two for some reason. <laughs> Now, now, this is a side effect of steroid usage. Most people have already made up their minds before hearing both sides of the story. However, there are a few out there that just haven't been exposed to the information and are willing to change their mind. The main issue is that people shape their thoughts and actions based on their interpretation of reality, not what reality actually is. If they want to believe that they can be a fake natty that looks like Ronnie Coleman, by all means, they will believe that until something hits him in the head like a brick, or who knows, maybe they never will. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And if you do want to support me further, check out frank-stefano.com, Frankie's Naturals, Frankie's Syringe Meat, all that stuff. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.